What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. I like three things like that you would ask me, like just based off of the conversation we're having now. Like if it were a date? Yeah, because this is technically like a date, like a mini date. I'm not really sure. Kind of got a blindfold on, so I don't really know what to ask you. You can okay, take a blindfold so I'm, off. I'm not your typical 10. Not my so typical 10? You look like a 10 on the Richter scale. What are you talking about? Bigger than my dreams. Gore like the Destroyer. Job of the Hut called. They want their entire uniform and, and look back. What are you talking about? I don't know where your back ends and your neck begins. Shots fired. Shots fired. Good Lord. Big back, big back. Big back, big back. Typical 10? You're not a 10 at all. A 10 minus 10 is what you would be. So like what are looks like everything to you? Like what is the life? Look, are you, uh, men are very physical. Looks are a lot and that's a lot. Everything but it plays a big part. For sure. Well, with that being said, you can take your blindfold off. Oh, it's a wrap. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> And with that being said, you can take your like trying to sound all feminine. That is a man, buddy. <laughs> what they did to him should be illegal. That was the most craziest setup I've ever seen. So I heard my ex was going on his first date with someone new to the restaurant you used to take me to. I still love it there. I'll actually be there tonight with your ex best friend. Hmm. I'm gonna get all is she from New York? Stuff. We're gonna look good. Don't stare too much though. We won't say hi. We might kiss, but it's just platonic, like before. But you have fun with your new girl. <laughs> Sounds like someone hasn't moved on. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, honey, you need to just move on. <laughs> yeah. What's up, bro? How you doing? You ain't no man, is you? You wanna find out? Hell Ooh. no. Hell no, nah, what if you is? I'm gonna be in a hell of a situation. If yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, why your voice deep, babe? Would I be here if I was a man? You sure right. Yeah, but why you why your mother was right. so pretty as you? <laughs> what was that? Man, get her out of here. <laughs> Man, what she why she it's, why her voice so deep, that's you. Voice so deep and so masculine too. I love Charleston White. So if you guys have ever heard me say if I j I'm just throwing rocks that if it hits you holla, I got that from Charleston White. What that means is basically if you're if you're saying things that hurts other people's feelings, it's because they're insecure in some type of way, that's why it's getting to them. I'm just throwing rocks and if it hits you holla. That's <laughs> such a good quote. Why she growling? <laughs> Why she growling? I love Charles and White. He's hilarious. I don't agree with everything I he don't says. I actually talk like a man. It was just a joke, and I thought it was really funny. Honestly, talking in a man voice is very true to my personality because I have an extremely sick sense of humor. I love weirding people out. It's part of me. Mm. Unc really was stressing there, but at least it wasn't dick, a real man. I, mean. oh, I think. Date didn't come back from the bathroom. Oh man, brutal, honey. Hey, just sip that little creme latte by your lonely. No more free drinks. No more free dinners, boo boo. I've been catfishing. Supposed to meet with Susan and uh. Hello. What in the? Oh my god, that is a man, man. <laughs> so. I wouldn't have even sat down for the date. I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. If I knew I had somebody meeting me there and they came over and they, like recognized me, I'd be like, I'm going to the bathroom and I would have lickety split. I would have split. I would have split like Moses did the Red Sea. <laughs> would have been out of there, boy. Lost here because obviously I thought I was meeting Susan, not not Woody Sean. I might have a little bit of testosterone, you know, in me, but I'm I'm, I'm a woman, and as you can see, that really is me. Can't even see the smile. It's me. <laughs> This is the biggest cap of all time right here. <laughs> if I was in that position, Stop. I would have called the police or something. I just think it's kind of giving me like a red flag, like kind of turned off. Girls with espresso martinis. Uh, I'm gonna order an Uber, but uh, I don't have my card, so um, <laughs> just sell me or something. Let the king we speak. We haven't even gotten our food though. I mean, uh, I'm not hungry anymore. Because I ordered an espresso martini? Yeah, I'm just really turned off. Bro, I've heard those are actually good. Let me know in the comments. Have you ever had an espresso martini? I heard those are straight Fuegos Ranchero, uh, Rancheros, even though they do look like dookie water. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a buck. I've heard they're pretty good. 
Okay. Sounds about right. Also, caffeine and alcohol seems to be an interesting mix. How many of you guys? What's wrong with this guy? What are you doing for a living, bro? I own a taco shop. He owns a taco shop. That's kind of mine, though. I wish I owned a taco shop. What do you do? You're a legal assistant. Oh, she's trying assistant. to get enough. She's trying to get a lawyer, but. Assistance. Why don't you learn from the other assistants and the owner? <laughs> There's no way that was just a coincidence. Bro, that man Maybe is so buried deep in a friend zone and it ain't even funny. Fine to her. There's no amount of dinners that you will ever buy for me that will get my panties off. So you really need to figure out what it is that you think you have to offer and what it is that you think I value. Girl, because you better shut up! Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> If you're a single mom over 30, you don't deserve anything. You're you're lucky to get Mickey D's. Cuz it's Mickey D's nuts in your mouth. We're going to happen without real investment. Oh, and that's not up. what you do. And I get that that's satisfactory for some others, but it's not enough for me. Check yeah. please was the exact phrase that was going through my head. Can you date somebody I think they the prize? No, I mean the man is always the prize. Yes. Remember that. You, they try to say happy wife, happy life. A happy man is God's plan. So, and, and for all the brothers that's watching this, you gotta always make sure you go where you celebrate it, not tolerate it, right? But in order to go where you celebrate it, not tolerate it, you gotta celebrate yourself, right? How you think creates how you feel. How you feel becomes an emotion. That emotion becomes a vibration. That vibration becomes a magnet that attracts things to you. So what you put out is gonna come back to you. So once you on that vibration of celebrating yourself, the that's gonna tolerate you is gonna run from you. Because you're not going to track them, you're going to repel them. This man is man, doctors. He is one, hey, very much so. Applaud this man. Applaud this man. Why not stop? Thank you. Thank you. Applaud this man. There's a lot of that, those kind of teachings in As a Man Think is by James Allen, I believe. Um, it's on Spotify. It's free. Go listen to that ebook. It's great. Um, one part of the book that he reminded me of is like, treat your mind like a garden. And so if you put in intellectual seeds you're going to get intellectual things you don't put in anything it's just your mind's going to run wild so i think he's 100 percent upright i like his vibration thing because i always talk about this be a magnet to the things that you want don't chase women women run don't chase money money runs attract it seuss reincarnated oh well, firstly i should have never agreed to a gym date oh Ooh. oh why is that let me know chad would you ever do a gym date personally i'm going nah what? i'm in shape I'm happy with my body, but I don't really work out regularly. Oh. And, well, it seems like Matt is not happy with my body and thinks I should be working on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. We can all be better. And I just, I just think we all need to work on ourselves. I didn't, I didn't see anything negative. Matt, <laughs> yeah, you said to another trainer, she has great muscle memory. I bet if I work her out, she can get rid of some of that fat. Well, th yeah, but that's true. You can. I don't want to lose weight. <laughs> you can't say that to a woman, though, dude. And it sounds like you're talking about, like, a horse or something. <laughs> no. Yeah, well, no. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, all right, to be fair, all right, to be fair, you don't see any fat horses, do you? Wow. Oh. Wow. Gym dates just sound a little dumb. <laughs> it's kind of stupid savage. she agreed to it. What's the worst date you've ever been on? We went out to Applebee's and she shows up at least like 30 minutes late and she's got three kids with her so she Whoa. gets a call and she's just like all right so you just gotta go with whatever i say and like 10 minutes after she gets that call this dude just comes in with her and i'm just like oh he tells us all to get in the car like nothing is wrong this, this is this kind of a weird situation i'm thinking that i'm getting like set up or something but apparently she told him that i'm one of her oldest kids from a different baby dad that was her baby dad for the other three kids. And now I'm the oldest son from a different baby dad. So, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, how do I blend into this situation? We get into the, I'm still trying to figure out if like, I still got a chance with it, but she's not really talking to me at this point. But yeah, he dropped us off at home. 
her and her three kids, and then he just dropped me off after. <laughs> um, so yeah, never again, bro. So, do you think she used you to get her and her kids a meal? Oh, yeah, that's probably what happened, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's an astute possibility. Bro. Yeah, that's, that's an ex- astute possibility, bro. That's what happened. Extremely weird situation to deal with. Bro, this is why I say never get into these entanglements with these single moms. You're playing another man's safe game. It's a lose-lose. It's a catch-22, bro. Is your food in your drink? Where's your drink? Oh, I, I have a water. I'm good. Well, then I don't need a drink. You literally just got done telling me that you wanted a Diet Coke. Children. Why did you only get one meal? Because you said you're oh, hungry. I'm not hungry. Alex, why didn't you tell me that before? I'm not hungry either then. No. Okay. Children. That is not how that works. You literally told me that you wanted food. The thing is, I only want to eat when you want to eat. And if you don't want to eat, then I don't want to eat. There you go. You can have the rest of them. <laughs> No, I just got done eating some. It's your turn. Women are children, dude. But you have to help me. She just doesn't want to feel big like a... Big back, big back, big back, big She don't want to feel like a big back, so she's like, you got to eat too. We split this, 50-50. We got you a meal, not me. Well, that's the problem. That's why we're arguing. No, this is your food. And this is your drink. Have a sip. <laughs> Why do women always have to complicate everything and turn it into a waste of time? For real. <laughs> no. He was charging that one for a while, and I would have as well. Everybody ready to hear? how the shortest first date of my life has gone. So this is what I'm wearing. Are you a single mom? All times, you know, cute You look boots, like a pumpkin patch. Not too bad, whatever. It's mid at best. Um, this man, we meet outside. Tinder date, right? Catch we me meet outside. outside, meet together. Yeah. He looks at me up and down and goes, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> I start laughing because I think he's joking. He does it again. Turns on the spot and books it to his car. Okay? <laughs> and I'm standing there just laughing because I think this is a joke. I mean, so this I fit is pretty trash. Who did you get that jacket from? Your grandma? Shots fired! Shots fired! And like the gray with, like, you should have worn a white under that, and that is bad. And like, uh, I'm t- dude, go cop the ebook, The Four Steps to Style. You'll be able to dress better than her every day of the week. I'm going to this brewery by myself and have a beer because this is the reality of my life currently. And uh, he had blocked me by the time I tried to look him up after my first beer. So. Love it, dude. How's your dating going? This is just sad to hear. At the same time, this is an average dating experience for a man. Yeah. Why would you leave the man at his lowest point? You getting money. You was getting money, right? Yeah. So why? You worry about what this man could do. You supposed to Make be. Hold on, hard. hold on, hold on. But you not understand that you supposed to be. A, if it's a partnership, you supposed to hold your man down. You know what I'm saying? When he up, when he down here, you supposed to uplift your man to get back up. But you just left him at his lowest. That, that says a lot about your character and what type of woman you is. And you definitely not a woman that I want. With. No, but we can work something. No, there ain't like no working mm. nothing. Though. But this was different. What's different? She's a runner. She's different? a track star. Because. You know, you, you got something going for yourself. Okay, you know, but okay, so, so say I end up trying to be with you. The moment something go wrong with me, you gonna leave me just like him. No, I'll stay. Why, oh, why? why? Why me? Why Why am I so special? Why didn't you stay for him? Well, he couldn't give me the things that well, I... Well, guess what? I'm not doing that either. I'm not a trick... So if you got in this car thinking I'm gonna take you shopping, trips and all that, and you ain't my girl, you in the wrong... Girl, I'm not doing, listen, I'm not doing none of that. Keep it pushed. So you're not buying by what I say, it's not happening. I'm not taking you shots. These gold diggers will, will really grab the shovel and hope they are just mining for gold. Honey, no. I'm not giving you money and I'm not taking you on trips unless you my girl. And right now, you're nothing. No, I'm something. No, you're because... nothing to me. Okay. That's like me saying you're going to drop that neck. Exactly. See that face you got right there? That's the face <laughs> you I'm going to drop that neck. <laughs> Absolute savagery. You gonna drop that neck? I'm gonna go ahead and need that neck on express order. Uh, 
Citrus shortage. Stolen orange, twelve dollars. You were serious? Yeah, I was serious. Maybe you learned your lesson. This is just robbery. Give him his eleven dollars back. You guys are gonna tell us if it's a yes or a no in three, two, one. What's wrong with this guy? What's wrong? With Wait, what did Matt say? <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to answer. Is it a yes or a no in your end? Would you? Yeah. Hard pass. I mean, I, I will say everything about this guy looks good. He's, he looks like he's in shape. He's, his beard's nice and trim. He's got a nice necklace on. Not a huge fan of the holy jeans, but like if he fixed that cut, he could level up. This is something you will learn in the ebook of like which hairstyles to to go with with your face shape. If he if he just because that that to me, anytime you have bangs, you just look way young. He's not a bad looking dude though. Looks like he'd be my cousin. Well, I mean, I feel like it's kind of jaded a little bit. Yeah, like I said, one part. Dude, man. So, why is it? Do you want to say why, or, or is it like? Uh, I don't think that we would get along very well at all. It yeah. seems like already toxic. <laughs> Seems like the audience really spoke to him and to her as well. I remember I took this girl out once um, to a nice little restaurant called Ruth Chris. Nice the little started ordering drinks, appetizers, steak, shrimp, salmon, and goldfish. Mind you, I only had three. Don't, 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 don't. Just don't. <laughs> just don't. I don't understand. Sorry, it. sorry. I just don't know sorry. where they're <laughs> serving goldfish. <laughs> But For we'll real. keep it moving. Fa? We'll keep it moving. I didn't even say the gut. <laughs> yeah. My tonsils are sweating. Just don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know where they're selling that. It's haram. That's all I know. Uh, salmon and goldfish. Mind you, all I had was $350 and my car was on E. My car was on E? <laughs> on a Brent thing. No. Why are you out on a date I if you're on E? Suffering. Fa! Man, I'm suffering. <sighs> so I'm sitting there eating my Caesar salad getting nervous about who um about the bill so i said who the f is eating all of this food she said oh i'm gonna take some home for my roommate oh hell i no. went to the bathroom and never came back right oh there's no chance bro, you pay for the not. roommate's bro, meal what's the worst let me know in the comments i want to know what the worst date you guys have ever been on i know some of you guys have never been on dates i'm sure some of you guys have been on dates loki come here sit free go to your place Dude, I'll tell y'all, one of the worst dates I ever went on, it was in college. It wasn't even an, I mean, it, it could have been a date, you know what I'm saying? So I'm in college, right? And there's like a local bar that everybody goes to. And so I was like, hey, we met on Tinder. I was like, hey, show up at the bar. I'm going to have some friends there. We'll chop it up. If things go well afterwards, we'll go get some, you know, we'll go get some more drinks somewhere else or we'll bar hop or whatever. Um, and so... <laughs> The chick shows up and I see her from afar and I'm talking this woman is about 50 pounds heavier than she was in her pictures. Big bag, big bag. Whole 50 big pounds. Big bag, big bag. A whole other, uh, she, she could have had a whole Rottweiler puppy in her gut and I would, you know what I'm saying? She was big. I immediately scoped it out. And so she came, she saw me and she's like, okay. So she comes and sits down at our table. She sits down at our table. I immediately get up and I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. I go to the bathroom, I text my friends, I go say, hey, tell her I had to leave, my buddy got arrested. <laughs> tell her I gotta leave. I literally, I dipped, <laughs> I dipped. The girl stayed there with my friends for maybe another 20, 30 minutes, kept messaging me and I just ghosted her. She finally left and then I came back. I finally came back. And from then, and from then on out, what we called that move, we called that move the Houdini. Because now you see me, now you don't. <laughs> I was there, and then I wasn't. In the, in the lick of a few seconds, she showed up, shot, thought she was going to be on a date with me. That was not the case. You're a big back now. You gained about 50 pounds. This is why I always say when you're on, e on these datings app, dating apps, bro, you got to watch out for the neck up photos, buddy. Those neck up photos will get you every single time, buddy boy. If it's always from right here, this little profile, uh -uh, I want to see that torso. I want to see them legs. I want to see. I want to see a full body shot. You know what I'm saying? I am not about to fall for that neck up photo nonsense. But yeah, man, you, have you guys ever pulled a Houdini? Boy, those are the good ones right there. Showing up, seeing she's a big back, and I'm gonna just be like, I even had to tell girls when I was dating in Austin, like, hey, I'm gonna keep it a buck. You look way different than in your profile. I'm talking way, way different. So respectfully, I look the same. I'll get a beer with you, but then I'm going to have to split like Moses did to Red Sea. I'm out your hair like your favorite shampoo. I am out of here. <laughs> Just letting you know. It's a wrap for me. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to cop the new ebook, the four uh, the four steps to style. I got a bunch of style guides in there from everything from 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 what you should do with your hair, your beard, what fragrances you should wear, you know, um, how you should upgrade your outfits as far as your wardrobe goes. So go ahead and cop that. It's in the link uh, or it's in the description. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.